Hey guys, this is Pokemaniac101, and welcome back to another video on my Minecraft Let's Play Survival World. And today is a very special... Whoa, what the heck is that villager doing up there? Hello? Um... Okay, how, first of all, how'd you get up there? And second, how are we gonna get you... How are we gonna get you down? Is it... Okay, uh... <laughs> okay, well, hello! <laughs> uh, so I guess this guy... Oh wait, this guy might be... Oh, he's... He's, um... He's claimed these grindstones over here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him to it. But anyway, um, today is a very exciting day because 1.16 has finally released, and today we will be going into the new nether and exploring all the new blocks and mobs and biomes and everything. But before we do that, we need to do a couple of things. Now, you may notice over here, I've made kind of a little little temporary um, um, nether wart farm out of a creeper hole um, and that is so I can make a ton of fire resistance potions which I am I'm gonna bring a couple of them because as you're going to see in a second uh, fire resistance is a lot a lot more important now than it used to be okay so I haven't updated my nether yet and that's because we need to go in there and pack up my gold farm get all the golden stuff um, but I'm gonna drink that nether fire resistance potion because as you're about to see my nether's a bit of a mess now this was completely intentional I decided to flood my nether um, in order to try to reduce the spawn rates around here because I knew I was gonna reset this anyway and my gold farm wasn't act wasn't doing very well so I just decided you know what let's just flood the entire thing I also um, made this little temporary smelting setup to get rid of all the swords, um, so I don't have to throw them away. I can just like turn all these into gold nuggets, which is really useful. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna turn all these gold swords into nuggets and then pack up all the important things because we are going to be resetting our nether in order to get all the new biomes and stuff. Okay, so while all those are smelting, I'm gonna go over to my nether fortress because there's also something over there I want to pick up. Now, as you can kind of see poking around there, there is a lot of gravel right around my nether fortress, and I just want to gather up all of it, because unless you have a gravel, like gravel mountain, it's really, really hard to get access to this much gravel. So, so I'm just going to pick all of it up, just, just, because, just while it's here. It's going to be a real shame if I just like leave all this here and then reset the nether, so I'm just going to pick it up for like you know, concrete and stuff, just just that kind of thing. Because I don't actually know if I have a gravel biome anywhere nearby my house. So, yeah, this is going to become very useful if I ever build something with a lot of uh, concrete in the future. Oh! Oh, fire resistance protects you from magma blocks. I actually did not know that. Okay, so I've officially ran out of space in my inventory, and I don't have any, like, shulker boxes or anything. Um, so I think I'm just gonna leave it here. This is probably way more gravel than I'm gonna use, like, ever. I don't, really, I don't really know, so I don't really know anything I'm gonna use a lot of concrete on. So I'm just gonna take what, take what I have and get out of here before I get killed by some magma cubes or something. If we just check, this should, yeah, this should be done now. And now we can just get all the gold out of here. I'm gonna leave, like, the rotten flesh and stuff behind. Um, there's really not much I can do with, actually, I could... No, I, I will keep the rotten flesh because I can trade it with um with clerics. I actually tra trade it with the cleric. I stole the um stole the brewing stand um from. Also, I blew a hole in his wall, so I guess he this could be his <laughs> his payment for that. Now these mine carts are also a lot of iron, so I'm just gonna quickly take all of these and just pack up and go. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I guess these mine carts were trying to. <laughs> I guess these were trying to like go somewhere else. I broke I broke like the rail and they just like flew out. Oh man, that was that was hilarious. Okay, I think I've got everything. I'm gonna leave like the glass and trapdoors and stuff because that's not really <laughs> that's not really that useful. There's not a lot of it, so it's not really worth picking up. But yeah, that's that's it. So once we leave the nether, we are not coming back here. So let's just take one last look at this. <laughs> <laughs> flooded mess and um, yeah let's get out of here and break this portal in order to get ready for 1.16 I have so many mine carts it's not even <laughs> oh man I have like more I have like probably probably two maybe I don't know 
two like like two double chests of minecarts. I don't really know what I'm gonna use them for since they're breaking. Um, yeah, they're gonna fix the whole um, gold farm glitch um, sometime in the future. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use all those minecarts for. Um, there might be another entity cramming farm out there that I don't know of, but yeah, until then I'm just gonna have so many minecarts just like sitting around. Okay, so now I've wanted to do this for a while, and now seeing as we're going to be updating the nether, um, I might as well update this too. Um, I really want to actually do something with my portal, and I'm going to gonna have to get Bob's dogs out of the way <laughs> uh, for this. Okay, so I can't go very far back because there's the whole enchantment room thing, um, but the di design I made kind of fix it, kind of covers that up a little bit. So we're going to put we're going to put the nether portal back here. It's going to be like what was it? I? I think it was four by four. Uh, so it'd be like this, this whole like wall, <laughs> like the portal itself would be four by four. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need more obsidian. The design I came up with is really simple. There's really nothing, nothing really about it. So I've got a ring of andesite around here, and then I'm just gonna kind of like, kind of put do like a kind of jigsaw puzzle type thing. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces every every here, here every once in a while. There we go. Now I'm using a trick I learned from Mumbo and Jumbo where if you just put the blocks you want to randomize in your inventory and just like spin the mouse wheel, then you just like place blocks and the game randomizes it for you, which helps really well for like adding a little bit of extra texture to builds. Okay, so now we got the actual like kind of rim. I kind of, I want to put stairs like on the corners just to make it make it look just a little bit nicer. So let's put let's get some red and normal. Um, I guess we could just like alternate so we could do like red and red and then normal and normal yeah there we go and then we could put like um put what was it like that like that and that and then we could put some slabs yeah let's get some slabs and then just kind of like put them over kind of over here and i think that yeah, i think that looks really cool and now we just need to light up the portal and then we can go into the 1.16 nether which is really exciting. All right, here we go. I have officially moved the world to 1.16. Honestly, it doesn't really feel that much different. I don't have Optifine anymore, so I can't, I can't zoom. I'm hitting, I'm hitting C, and I can't zoom, and that that feels really weird. Um, I guess I can, I guess I can do this. It's like the, it's like it's like a poor man zoom. <laughs> I'm not really feeling any performance. Um, downgrades, which is good. Like they made a bunch of performance stuff, but um, since I'm not using Optifine anymore, and I do have kind of a lower end computer, um, yeah, I'm really glad that it's it's running um, relatively well. But anyway, uh, clear up my inventory a little bit so that we can start the Nether afresh. And yeah, let's light this up. Um, so let's just do that, and then let's go into the 1.16 Nether. And here, oh. <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to reset the Nether actually. Oh, I don't. Okay, I guess we'll have to we'll have to reset it. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you would do that. Oh look, look our zombie. Oh, I can't zoom. <laughs> our zombie pigman is um, he's got the new model now. Um, yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. Like the, especially the ear. <laughs> I'm not really exactly sure. Yeah, that's gonna take some getting used to. Maybe exposing our Nether portal to one of the new items, like a soul torch or something, would um, kind of <laughs> kind of trigger it to um, to reset. Okay, so I, I do have some soul sand now. How do you make one of the? Oh, you get it's not that. How do you how do you make a soul torch? Hold on, soul. Oh, it doesn't. It's not enough showing up yet. Um. Okay, let's try making a normal torch and then adding like soul sand to it. So, okay, normal torch. Uh, is this how you? Is this how you make a soul torch? Is that? Oh, what the heck? How am I supposed? How am I supposed to do this? No soul. It's not showing up or anything. Maybe I need a crafting table to make it. Um, how do I do this? Oh, here it is. Oh, you need. Okay, so you make it along with the torch. Just put soul sand on the bottom. There we go. This is this is the new soul torch. Oh man, this looks this is really cool. I did play with this like in the very first snapshot. But I've never played with it like in survival mode or anything. Oh man, these these look really cool. And I actually I've been I've been waiting for these for a very long time um, because I do have a project that 
I thought would look so much better with like soul torches and soul lanterns and stuff that I've been kind of waiting until the update comes out. So yeah, there we go. This looks really cool. And now I think if we expose this to the nether, uh, okay, it went through. Um, I guess we could like, oh, I wonder if these would look better. Um, oh, that looks, that looks really cool. Uh, we could probably put, uh, we could <laughs> probably put them on the bottom if we had enough, if we hadn't just thrown away our other one, but yeah, there we go. I think that should have kind of triggered the nether to reset. So let's just kind of put our stuff back and yeah, let's, <laughs> let's try going into it now. All right, I'm ready. Let's just not wait any longer. Let's go straight into the nether and find out what this place has in store for us. What? Oh, whoa! Oh, this looks really cool! Oh, this is, um, this is the, what is it, the Fossil De Delta? I think that's what this is called. This is really cool. It's supposed to be like, supposed to be like the remains of an old volcano or something. This is really cool. Except, wait, hold on, my, oh, my, my stuff is gone. Uh, oh, whoa! The portal's, the portal's been broken. What the heck happened? Um... Okay, so I guess we're not going to the overworld anytime, anytime soon. I'm really not sure what could have done this because, like, gas can disable portals and stuff, but they always keep the frame intact, so you can, like, relight it again if you need to. Oh, hello. Oh, there's magma cubes all over the place. Oh, I don't have, I don't have my stuff, so I should probably find some place to, like, some place to take shell, shelter. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, what? What is the... Hello. You must be Pokemaniac, right? I've been expecting you. Um, yeah, hi, um, who are you? My name does not matter. Besides, it seems you have more pressing matters on hand. Well, yeah, I'm kind of stuck in the nether with no items. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Did you take my stuff? Yes, that was my doing. I do apologize, but don't worry. They will all be returned to you as long as you're up for the challenge. Um, oh, hold on. What, what kind of challenge? The challenge is three tasks. After all, you are trespassing on my property, so I only think it is fair that you have to prove yourself before I allow you to move through my world. Um, okay, all right, I guess, <laughs> I guess that seems fair. What, what are the three tasks? The three tasks are this. One, you must tame a strider in order to move across the lava lakes without harm. Two, you must go into the depths of the nether and bring back for me a block of netherite. And third, you've heard about piglin bastions, right? Um... Yeah, what about them? Well, there's like a new CD that they have just released, and I've, I've really wanted to listen for it for a while. Could you could you give me one of those too? Um. All right. <laughs> Is that it? Yes. Complete these tasks, and I will return your items to you. Fail, and you will leave this Nether and never come back. Um. I mean, I mean, I guess that seems fair. Uh, where Where is my stuff anyway? Oh, your items are just in this Ender chest over here. Um. All right, I guess <laughs> I guess that's so I, I can't access them, right? Correct. I will return your items to you once you complete the tasks, but until then, they will be safe under my watch. Now, set your spawn using this respawn anchor right here. Uh, like, oh, all right, there we go. Uh, what does that, what does that do? This will allow you to return to this place in the very likely occasion that you die during your adventures. Um, all right, well, thanks for the <laughs> vote of confidence, I guess. You are welcome. Now, go, and complete the tasks which I have given you. Um, alright then, I guess. Um, wish me luck. Yes, good luck. Um, are you just gonna, like, wait here for me, or like... Uh, um, look over there. Uh, wait, uh, what? Oh, oh, he's gone. Okay, well, I guess he is a being from the nether after all. Um, so yeah, I guess I... I guess I better go get, go get the items he wants. Uh, so what was it? There was like, so he wanted a strider. Uh, he wanted, he wanted a, a block of netherite. That's going to be difficult. I've heard netherite is very difficult to come across. And then, uh, what was it? The, the new music disc. I think it's called, I think it's called pig step. Okay. So our first, our first goal should definitely be to try to find, oh man, try to find, um, one of the new biomes, especially... I think especially the warped forest because um, that will give us plenty of wood so we can make um, tools and stuff. Plus, I'm pretty sure 
Um, only Endermen spin in a warped forest, and as long as we don't look them in the eye, we can we can avoid um, dealing with them. Okay, I should actually probably uh, take the coordinates of this place um, in order to no. Okay, well that's one death down. Um, we might want to pick up some glowstone so that we can recharge this when we need to. Okay, now actually now would be now would be the perfect time <laughs> to take the coordinates. Okay, we also need some food, so we're probably gonna need. I think the only source of food in the new nether is hoglins, which spawn in the crimson forest. So we need to find we need to find a warp forest that's also connected to a crimson forest. Because that way we get the benefits of both biomes. We get safety from mobs in the warped forest, and then we get food from the hoglins. But I mean this this basalt delta is huge. Like I've been going through it. Okay, um I believe this is okay, this is the old nether. Um this is called the nether wastes now. So, at least we are away from- Oh, the magma cubes! No! No! <laughs> no! No! no. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's, um... Yeah, that's number two down. <laughs> we definitely- Um, I- He said if we fail, then we never return to the nether again. I assume that means if this runs down to zero. So, as long as we get some glowstone, we should be able to recharge this. And I think, yeah, there's some glowstone right up there. Um, so we should always- um, always keep this thing charged um, when we die. Okay, so I only had to do a couple blocks, and there we go. <laughs> Not quite nine lives. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, I died. I can't get close to him with this guy coming at me every time I come around. Oh, dang it. No, that's a piglin. No, that's a piglin. No, get back. Uh, just, just, just drop down here. Uh, we are good. I'm not threatening you in any way. Goodbye. Get back off the cliff. Off the cliff. There. No, no, get off. Okay, I really want to find soul sand as soon as possible. If we aren't going to find the crimson forest, at least want to get soul sand because then it would make it so much easier to, to traverse through the nether because that's, as far as I know, the only block you can punch with your fist and still get back. Um, I'm not sure if any of the new blocks have that, but like basalt and blackstone, um, those kind of things you can't, those kind of things you can't get back unless you have a pickaxe. So I'm really wanna gonna want so I'm really gonna wanna find soul sand really quickly. Is that gravel? Hold on, is that gravel on the ceiling? Hold on. Let's just poor man zoom. Uh no, that's just that's just basalt. That looks like gravel. That was just like up there ready to fall. Oh I can hear a magma cube. I don't want a magma cube. Even a magma cube will kill me at this point. Oh now I can't sprint. And there's a magma cube. Oh, this is just fantastic. Oh, Okay, I found a soul sand valley. Uh, these things have skeletons and gas, but oh man, hopefully they shouldn't be. This should be too bad. I want to stay out of the soul sand. Let's just stay, stay on the soul cell. Let's actually get as much of this as possible, so we can traverse the Nether a little bit easier. Oh, it's an F. <laughs> Even the bone blocks are putting an F in the chat for me. Hold on, I recognize this place. Oh, this is- Oh, there's a crimson forest. Okay, I was just about to say, the nether- This- this is actually- the, the generation is actually, like, the same. It's just the biomes that are different. So, like, this is actually where my nether fortress is in, um, well, my nether fortress used to be. Okay, so I need to leave as soon as possible. Actually, I uh, should probably get some more fun by, fungi because the hoglins are really afraid of it. And I think they, like, run away from you if you have it. If they okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Whoa, they're strong. They are strong. They are strong. Run, run, run. I just need to get out of here. I just need to leave. No. Oh, how did you, how did that miss me? How on earth did that miss? Oh. Oh. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, finally a minute to the warped forest. Okay. Um. It's a little small, but as long as I stay- Oh, hot tourist destinations. I think that means that I've gone to all of the new nether biomes. Yeah, explore all new nether- all nether biomes. Okay, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I almost looked that guy straight in the eye. Okay, the first thing I need to do is get some wood. I think I'm just gonna set up, like, a little base. Just get- just get some survival- basic survival stuff ready, and then I can- <laughs> and then I can end this episode because I am more than a little stressed about this. <laughs> Okay, fungus, crap. Oh no, I made seven crafting tables. <laughs> what? Oh, I made seven crafting tables. That, 
is embarrassing. No, get back, please. Get, get back, get back, get back, get back. I need like a sword or something, but I made seven crafting tables instead. Oh, okay. Well, that thing is running. I think it's went running away from the crimson fungi. So I'm just gonna. I'm not not crimson. I'm warped. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick around here. Is there? Yeah, there's a tree right here. I can punch this down, and actually, actually be smart about how I use my wood this time. Let's make some sticks. Let's make a sword. Probably gonna need a pickaxe because there's a lot of stuff around here that requires a pickaxe. Uh, maybe a couple more sticks. Um, and then yeah, that's it. That's it for now. So I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get myself some food. And then whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Okay, there's a warp fun guy. You hate warp fun guy, right? 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 Okay, yeah, they're staying away. Okay. <laughs> ah, I have a heart. Oh no, that is not. That is not good at all. Okay, so he's staying like right here. He'll charge me down and then just like stop like a block in front of me. So I just need to, like get here, attract them, attract them, and then like just stay right within the boundaries from where they are afraid. Oh, that. Hold on, did you hear that? The sound, the the sweeping sound, the whoom. Like, that was actually really delayed um, for some reason. Okay, I just need to get, I just need to kill one of you. And then I can ho heal up, hopefully. No! Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, this is, oh, this guy just spawned right on the land, didn't he? Yeah, I, well, I guess he could have climbed up from there, but. Oh, hello. I was just collecting, <laughs> oh, he's attracted to the fungus. Yeah, I was just collecting some warped fungus to try to drive off all the hoglins and stuff. Kind of put a protective ring around me. Oh, this could be the one I can ride around the nether. Oh, man. Okay, we need to put you somewhere. Okay, let's kind of just put you in a hole for now. Come on. No, no, come on. Oh, there's a, are they, are they damaged by magma blocks? I'm not sure. I'm just going to put another act there anyway. Come on. Come here. Come on. Just go into the hole. And there we go. Okay, so let's kind of actually we don't need a fence around here because he's in a pit. Um, so yeah, stay. I will get a name tag somewhere and then hopefully name you. I'm not actually sure if you can put if you can get iron in the Nether. So um, I might not be able to name you, but I can still name you. I just can't I just can't put a name tag on you. So I found if you stay on top of a three block high tower, they can't hit you, but it does make it. A little bit difficult to hit them. A two block high tower is actually not enough because they can still hit you from down there. So you kind of just have to deal with the kind of difficult hitbox. Oh, okay. He dropped he dropped some leather. I don't want to kill the baby. Can't even reach the baby from here, but I have half a heart and it's probably going to kill me. I'm just going to let it run away. They, t they tend to like attack you a couple times and then just like run. Come on. Just don't, don't hurt me, please. Okay. He's, he's going. I'm just going to break the block very quickly because I don't want to risk taking damage. Come on, let's get the food. No, run. Okay, over to the, over to the warped, warped fungi. Okay, he's, he's running away. Oh man, how much is this, this gonna do? Okay, so two pork chops is three? Two pork chops is three health? Oh man, that's not, it's not really good at all, but at least I can sprint. Uh, there's actually a lot of gold ore around here. I'm not sure what peck axe you need to get it, but it could be worth it to get some get some gold armor. Okay, I'm gonna try with a wood pickaxe. This is probably not what. Oh, oh, you do get it with wood pickaxe. Okay, that actually kind of makes sense since you can't get a large amount of iron in the Nether. It would definitely help to get some gold armor with all these piglins around. Okay, I just started attacking one hoglin. Now there's like five of them, <laughs> and my sword broke as well. So now I'm forced to having to punch all of them. Oh, now there's six, and a piglin. Great, seven. Hold on, they just keep spawning. There's like, a, there's seven now. Oh, did you see that? That guy just got destroyed. <laughs> I think hoes, hoes have been buffed in this update. They used to be really useless, but I think I remember hearing something about them buffing them somehow. I don't really know if it was like the blocks they broke. It wasn't, it's not Nylium. Is it this? Oh, there we go. Well, let's try that with the pickaxe. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, hoes are definitely faster. Okay, so hoes hoes are actually useful for something now other than farming. I can't believe it might actually be viable now to get a diamond hoe. <laughs> oh, these guys are tough. I just I oh you avoid the enderman. I just made a wooden sword and it broke after killing like five of these guys. Okay, now I've got a decent amount of food. I can't cook it yet. Okay, I might want to dig a little bit more into this mountain. I made like a little too wide little hidey hole to get away from the piglins, but I might need to make like an actual little base in here. 
I didn't really want to shut myself in. I wanted to like live in the new nether, you know, but um yeah, I guess it's a little a little dangerous to stay inside the entire time. Okay. This is 100% a very bad idea, but I really need some gold armor, so I'm bridging across um, this one tiny little lava pool. Okay, there's one. I know there's lava right underneath there, so I'm gonna stay crouched and then drop down here. There we go, and I get 41. Uh, and my pickaxe broke. All right, 41. I think will give me boots. I need nine, nine four. Let's see. Yeah, I need nine for gold ingot, so I can definitely I can make boots now, and now I feel infinitely more safe. It's just boots, but it makes a huge difference when you're in the Nether. What are you looking at? Oh, don't go into my house. That's rude. <laughs> okay, just because you don't attack me anymore does not mean you can just barge into my house like that. <laughs> okay, so it's a new day, and I've just rejoined the game, and I'm a little confused. Because instead of the nether music, the normal music is playing for some reason. I mean, I'm not complaining. I love the normal music, but there's also some new tracks I'd like to hear. Okay, I think our next goal should be going back to that basalt delta and getting ourselves some stone tools. Because wooden swords are not going to cut it in the long run. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Did he just... Oh, they're getting hurt by the magma box. They're not fire resistant. Oh, we could make a farm out of this. We could make this so much easier by just, like, giving them some spawning spaces and then, like, kind of guiding them towards the nether wart. Okay, I found the basalt delta, and there's some blackstone. That's that's what we need, because blackstone is, at least as far as I'm aware, the only way we can get cobblestone-based tools in this game. Or not, not this game, this dimension. <laughs> anyway, we can place down one of the six crafting tables we made and make ourselves... A furnace, there we go, and now we, oh wait, hold on, can we use, oh, okay, we can't, okay, I was just about to say, like, I doubt we could be, we could use warped planks as fuel, seeing as they're not, seeing as they're fireproof, um, yeah, I guess we'll need some sort of fuel then, we can use lava buckets, but I'm not sure where we can get iron in the nether, okay, well, we can at least make ourselves, uh, let's go with a stone sword and a stone pickaxe for now, and then I guess we could make, um, maybe make an axe later on. And then let's just collect as much of this stuff as we can and get back to the base. I'm also going to collect some of these magma blocks so we can try to make food farming a little bit easier. Okay, so now we've got a furnace, but I don't exactly <laughs> know what to do with it. Um, yeah, let's just put, let's put my pork chops in. What do I, I can't burn the wood. I don't know if magma blocks, yeah, magma blo blocks can't burn. Um, maybe sticks? I guess I could use sticks, right? Okay. <laughs> Apparently making sticks out of um, fireproof planks doesn't make the sticks fireproof. Um, but yeah, that will only, like, cook one of them at most. Yeah, that's probably gonna, <laughs> that's gonna make, like, two pork chops. Okay, so I'm gonna need... Okay, well, there is a lot of wood around here, but I don't really want to use up a ton of it because I kind of want to save up a bunch of it for, you know, building and stuff like that. But it is something I can use for... Hello. Oh, can you open doors? Oh, hold on. Can you... Oh, they can open doors just like villagers. Okay. Um, I guess... I guess putting that door down won't really do anything. I guess... I guess it'll keep the hoglins out, but that's pretty much it. Okay, well, I have a way to cook my food now. Oh, you scared me. Oh, you scared me so bad. Okay, let's uh, dig a hole, and then let's put some magma blocks at the bot bottom and see if this will help me out at all. Okay, drop down, drop down. I mean, I don't really want to kill the babies. Hold on. Okay, let's get one of the adults. Because <laughs> I, I really don't want to hurt, hurt the babies. Like, they don't drop any food, and they only do half a heart of damage. So, I mean, like, killing them is just mean. You see here the forces of nature competing for food, and now the victor is going after the cameraman. No! Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure how I won that. Okay, well, I've had a little bit of trouble trying to get them to fall into the pit, but I'm pretty sure that if I use trapdoors, they will think it's a block they can pathfind on, and they'll just, like, fall into the pit while trying to follow me. Anyway, there's one up here. Let's try this out. Um, if you'll just fall down. You are, like... No oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, and they are falling. Whoa, let's avoid them. No, 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 no. Oh, half heart, half heart, half heart, half heart. Oh, I have a stone sword. I completely forgot I had a stone sword. Oh, there are a lot of them. <laughs> okay, well, as I was getting my stuff, I did see one that had fallen in there. So if we just kind of 
Be careful. Yeah, yes. Okay, so they do they do walk over the trap doors because they think they can pathfind. So it looks like that pit might have been a little bit too small for that guy who was running at full speed. But if we just expand the pit, it should be fine. Now, I wonder if I can make them run towards... Oh, oh okay. I'm kind of losing some protection. But I think I can make them run towards the, K, the pit by putting warped fungus right here. Yeah, I can kind of like corral them over there. Okay, so this could actually this could actually work. Yeah, okay, just just fall in. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, this is working. This is working. All right. And if I can find a way to like corral them in there using the wart fungus, then this could actually work really well. Now there's this lava pool right here that's actually technically still part of the crimson forest, so we could put like some platforms here and then like I guess some warped fungus to corral the piglins into like a pit that will lead them down to Mr. Magna Blocks. We could actually make like a full-blown uh, pork chop farm. Anyway, that's just about as much time as we have in this video. It has been really hot this week and it has made my laptop overheat and crash more than once. So yeah, it's taken like a week to make this video. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put, put the controller, well not the controller, um, just kind of sign it off here. In the next episode, we can make a pork chop farm and also try to find a slightly more effective way to cook our food. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!